Welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel, and I'm your host, Fam the Fabulous. For more ideas, inspiration, swaps, and challenges, click the link in the description below to join our craft community, The Maker Exchange, on Facebook. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, all of my artists, creatives, crafters, and makers. Welcome back to the Lovely Lab. Today I am simply pulling out these last little bits of scrap, the Christmas scraps, and I've uh, grab these um, envelopes that come with my credit card statements. Yes, I still get my credit cards in the mail because I'm old school like that. Now, um, so I often, when I get certain mail, I'll pull the envelopes that are meant to send back your remittance in and I'll pull them off to the side or in the event where the envelope actually comes and it has a good texture in there. You see, you see the pattern in there um, then I will use that in uh, collaging or what have you because sometimes you just need non-pattern you know, a, a very fine pattern just to break up some of the busier patterns and so that's uh, a good way to do that so you have seen me over the couple last couple weeks uh, do a number of um, scrappy projects and um, napkin projects and so I am really just trying to finish up the last of these scraps that are on my desk with uh, by decoupaging, collaging, whatever you want to call it, them onto these envelopes. And so all I'm using is scraps and glue. And then I will use them for in journals to um, slip uh, a tag into or a journal card into. Um, like this one is small enough to leave it as is. Um, these I may, I may leave one large and I don't think I have a journal that'll be long enough for this. So I'll watch like, yes, yeah, I might have to cut that down just a bit. Um, unless this is smaller. Is that smaller? No, so I'll have to cut these down just a bit. Um, probably cut this down to index card size. Let's see if I got one because I, you know, I used up. A, yep, so I'll cut this down to right about here. I'll do that before I even get started so I don't waste any paper. And then, um, and then this one I'll keep a little bit longer for a larger tag, a longer tag. So first things first, let me go forth and cut, get this down to size. And look at this, um, my new Tim Holtz left-handed um, mixed media glass mat. Oh my God, wasn't that a lot of words? That was so extra. Uh, it's This is definitely... I mean, I didn't get it for the whole point of, you know, cutting things down and using it to cut because I've got plenty of uh, self-healing mats for that. That's Josh in the background, guys, because um, we're on a quick little lunch break, so I won't be on here long. But I definitely will use it as such, okay? Now, of course, I could still use this as another little pocket. I may, I may not, but I mean, how much scrapping can I possibly, it's a pocket, it's, it's going to get used. Okay, so I have a small pocket here. I really should should have did that the opposite way. I do that every time, every time. I can still just glue at the bottom. Okay, so let me go ahead and take the top off. Now, uh, you can, I did not coffee dye these ahead of time. Why did I do that? I didn't tea dye these ahead of time, but you can, you know, if you, you don't have a lot of time, you can always get you a spray bottle and spray them down just so that you don't end up having to wait for them to dry from a thorough soak, 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 whatever. Okay, so that's good. So now I can leave this like this, so it glue it and sew it at the bottom, or I can leave it as a flap and close the back end so that it can be a flip out with a little journaling spot, which I probably will do with this, and then just leave this as a pouch. So, but I want to leave them open for now so that I will, I don't have to worry about um, bending and folding around the edges while it's dry. Okay, so that's gonna go with, the, and I don't need to use that. All right, and then this one, I'm gonna take this down a little bit. Actually, I want, yeah, I'm gonna take this down from here. So I'm gonna take off about two inches. Mm, maybe an inch and a half, that'll do it. 
and that'll be for those longer uh, the longer tags okay so we'll do it like that and let me take this edge off of here so I will remember that that is in fact the edge that I don't want and this is scrap I'm not even gonna try and work with that little piece right there so I hope everyone is doing well. Drop in the comments and let me know how your week is going. What do you have planned for the weekend? Are you already on your Christmas crafts? Are you working on your Thanksgiving? Or if are you working on Halloween stuff? Are y'all putting together costumes out there? That's not, that's not what I'm doing this year. I'm not doing it. Um, I've never created a costume. My son has never wanted to. He's always wanted to go as like a firefighter. Um, he's been a... He's been a firefighter, a policeman, a chef, a um, uh, oh gosh, a chef. There's two more. Um, he's been a dinosaur. No, he's been a giraffe. He's also been a pirate. <laughs> no, the first year he was a pirate. The next year he was a giraffe. Um, after that, I think he was a police officer. He's been a doctor. Yes, he's been a chef to couple chef a couple years ago, and um, I can't remember. And a firefighter. So, and I asked him this year, what did he want to be? And he was like, he's he's good. <laughs> I hope my baby ain't out growing the kids stuff. But I think with the pandemic, he's like, uh, just give me some candy and let me let me be on about my way. So, and, you know, he's he's very conscientious about it. Um, some people may say a little too precautious, but let me say this. I have one child and having, you know, after my husband and I have buried two children in less than two years, uh, over a decade ago, you know, a, a little precaution ain't hurt nobody. So we do all we can to keep the ones that we have here. So that's what we're going to do. Once we get to the other side of this pandemic, honey, we will be out and about and all over this planet. Uh, and I did say plan it because I do plan on doing a little uh, global traveling. But for right now, we're going sit, to sit tight, make sure that these kids can get vaccinated. Okay? Now, moving right along. <laughs> moving right along. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the largest one. Let me grab some glue. And I think I'm going to use a little bit of my... Uh, I have my Christmas tree here. I still have some decoupage um, glue uh, mixture left from my last uh, napkin project. So I think I'm going to just try and use that up for now. I'm going to go this way and let's see if I scoop that off. So I want to make sure I go up to this line and not go over it because I don't want to have to cut. Oh gosh, that got thick fast. I had what this was what more watery. Well, it's thick now. I gotta water that down a bit. So give me just a second. It's amazing how quickly your uh, craft space can end up looking crazy, you know? And just as soon as you sit down and pull out a few supplies, it is back. The crazy mint is back. All right, so when I put this, when I put the Tim Holtz glass mat down, I, I ended up needing to um, reposition my um, ring light because it was reflecting in the video so I don't know right now because I didn't test it I should guess I should have I don't know right now um, how light or how dark um, it has you know it'll make this but hopefully it won't be a problem so I still think this might be a little too thick but it'll be all right I normally would just use a glue stick but I got this out so 
I'm going to use this and wipe down as I go. And I'm still going to, once these dry, um, I'm not going to fold them all the way back up. I'm just going to, um, I'm going to, let's see, how much do I need? I can just do the whole thing, right? I'm going to run them through the sewing machine so I can get the stitches where I want them. All right. So I'm just going to put this here. I know why I, we normally use the glue stick because of the warping. <laughs> nice time for me to figure that out right now, right? All right, let me grab a card. I'm not going around here. Yeah, this is a little bit messier, but it's okay.
Okay, so it's been probably about a week since I've touched these things. It's been a bit much. It's been it's been a lot going on, but nevertheless, we're back. And so I think in the last video, I was heading off to the sewing machine. Don't worry about that. Paint from whatever. Anyway, so I was heading off to the sewing machine to do some stitching. And so I've gotten that done. Um, just put some stitching around here, around the windows. And I wanted to make sure that, you know, I didn't want to make sure, but as I normally do, I just stitched in a way that, it, you know, it wasn't too straight, just a little, little wonky. Because oftentimes when I run through, something will get off or it'll get hung up somewhere and then it'll get off skewed. So might as well make that a part of the <laughs> the charm, right? Um, and so I went on ahead and stitched around here. And then once I finished stitching, I went on ahead and glued the closures at the parts where I wanted it closed shut. I didn't want to sew it shut. I wanted to glue it uh, shut. Um, and then I left the flaps so that they could be added in journals. For the ones that will be added in journals, I should say. And they're inked around, the edges are inked around. So the only thing we need at this point is a little bit of decoration, right? So this, I've got a variety of different sizes, which is great. Um, and this is really two, this is three envelopes because this one came from this one. And I cut it down. So as you can see, um, this one will be just simply be a pocket that you that's glued down the other ones can be flip outs inside of a journal so that's great <clears throat> let's see this one will be a flip out with a journaling spot right there uh, this one will have a little bit of journaling right there okay so I'm just gonna while I'm here go ahead and decorate one of them to add a little interest so I'm just pulling out scraps I got a little uh, washi set that I picked up last year um, I've already used it but picked it up last year and I've got some uh, cheesecloth that I have dyed and um, that is what I am going to add here to one of these I think I want to do this one because I like the dark background let's see do I want to do this one do I want to do this one? Nope, I'll do this one. I'll do this one. Add a little green to it. Grab my scissors. Oh, where are my scissors? You know, these scissors walk away. I have seen these my scissors in the kitchen. Okay. I have seen it uh, <laughs> just a variety of different places around this house. Uh, in my son's room, in the family room. And I don't take it in there. So needless to say, oh my gosh. That is not an easy tear. Um, my family thinks that the, truly thinks that the, the scissors are community property in which they're not. They're wrong. It's not. It's mine. It's craft. It's craft scissors, people. Okay. I try to tell them they don't listen though. All right. So let me get. Uh, just want to get a little piece of um, something that's not already on there. Uh, let's see, something like that, but I need it bigger. So, I don't want to pull out a mess here, but I may have to pull out a mess here. I might get away with that since there's so much pattern there. Or that. We already got red. Okay, I'm, I don't want to overthink this. Let's let's not do that. Let's not. Let's, there we go. We might do that. Okay, I don't want to overthink it. I got what I need. Let me just put the rest of these scraps away. And I think when I get finished with these um, these pockets, I think I'm going to throw away whatever scrap bits I, I have left because, I mean, we can go on and on for the rest of eternity uh, utilizing the scraps from scraps. You know? I mean, my goodness. At some point, we got to just call it for what it is. We're done. It's a done deal. Girl. So we'll just tear that there like so. We'll, we'll use the opposite side. Eh, let me do a. I'm not going to ink it. It's just really not necessary at this point. And I think I'm going to use a 
word. Okay. Make sure I'm in frame here. All right, so we'll do that like so. Let me flip that around the other way. And then we can add a little washi, just a little. Not nothing too dangerous, you know. Let me glue this down first. Put, or put a little bit on here. Not much. Okay. Alright, come on, glue. I could have just used the thinner one and been on my way. But no. Good old Eileen's to the rescue with its thick, super thick sauces. <laughs> so, okay. So I think we're gonna leave that here like so. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'll just try and get some of this to lay down a little bit. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and give it, put a little washi on here. Got all type of patterns and prints going on. You can use any type of scrap paper, whatever you have. This is the this is the time to pull out the last little bits. Um, if you've already made your um, clusters, this is when you want to pull your clusters on out and put them to use. I have some, but I'm going to use those clusters for card making. Some quick card making. I'm just using the last little bits of scraps that I have on hand just to decorate this one. I'm going to use um, some Tim Holtz. A Tim Holtz. Uh, let's see, around the Christmas tree, ring the joy bells. There's not a bell on here, but whatever. Um, December 25th, Dear Santa Claus. I wanted one with that has a bit of a bold print to it. Okay. How about Song of the Snowflakes? No. How about the Kindly Out for, the, out for a Holiday? Huh. This one, the Kindly Winter. I think we could use that one. Don't want to leave it. I think I'm going to cut that. Like that. And then I want to add a couple of... Why not? Flat back curls. Very little, um, what do I want to add? The, let's see, what do we have here? You flat back curls, or do we even want to use? I think I want to use that. I think I want to use that, like so. Yeah, that actually makes me feel good. What? <laughs> what kind of life are we living here that we are truly dependent upon? You know, okay. Maybe your life is not as uh, easily impacted by crafting as mine. I don't know. I don't know, folks. Okay. So 
So that's that's that. It's just that simple. You know, you find something, you throw it on there. You go on about your merry way. Don't overthink that thing. I have, I can. I certainly can spend 30 minutes sitting here wandering, pondering, you know, thinking about all the usages. Do I have something better? Is this as good as I can do? Uh, you know, is this... It, Will I enjoy this in years to come? Girl, just put the paper and the embellishments down already and let it be what it's going to be. Because that's me. Now, I know you. everybody may not be like me, but I know I'm not alone. Because I, I watch videos. <laughs> and I, I know even though y'all speeding up some of those videos, I, I see that this going in fast and in, in quick motion. Anyways, guys, so that's that. That is what I have gotten accomplished with these scraps of envelopes. You know, uh, great use of the ones. Now, I, I have uh, I have a bit. I have quite a bit off to the side. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to see. You don't want to know. I keep them. And about every six months, I'll go through and I will throw out the ones that I have not used. Um, and um and keep just a few that i can use in the future because if i have like 40 on hand i'm not going to use 40 in the next six months so um that's kind of you know kind of how i whittle down my uh my hoard if you will yeah, if i've had it for that long and haven't used it i'm likely not going to okay so here we are this is this is kind of what's always on hand here in the craft lab in the lovely lab i should say and uh so this is kind of what i pick from some of them get coffee dyed some of them get tea dyed some of them get no dyed i just work with them collaged on top and whatever happened so that's it guys i hope that you have enjoyed this little project um i hope it's inspired you to continue using your scraps and then remember once you get to the end of them and you've got these tiny little pieces go on ahead and throw that stuff out child Pull it out. Do yourself a favor and rid yourself so you can make room for more scraps. All right, guys. Um, it's been fun. I hope you have enjoyed this. And for those who are new to the channel and have not already hit the subscribe button, I have no idea what y'all was waiting for. But now is the time. This is the time where you can click and then hit that notification bell sitting right next to it. Because um, you don't want to miss anything that goes on in this crafty community and on this channel. I mean, it's amazing, as you already have seen. Voila! Anyways, guys, and for those who are returning subscribers, I, I just want to thank you for continuing to support the channel, for coming back, for your feedback, comments, words of encouragement, as well as your wit and humor. Okay? Life. You either laugh. Or you cry. I, I, I particularly enjoy laughing. So, anyways, guys, until we're back here together on YouTube, stay encouraged, stay blessed, stay creative and crafty. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to join the crafty community and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Now, stay tuned for more from Libby's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. Bye for now.